It's ridiculous. Now, there's something not right here. Oh no, she's down. Throw some snowballs at her. You gotta hit once in a while, girl. Alright, um... That's all he's got for that. You got anything? No. No. I might as well cast that. There we go. Everyone gets a bless. You get a bless, and you get a bless. Do I have anything left? Oh, I do. I have... That's what I have. Should get one Cure Light Wound spell left. N no other spells. We lock up. We locked up. Yep. We killed the game. All right. Well, there we go. So, um, let's uh, relaunch, and uh, we're gonna take a quick break while that's going on, and we'll be right back.
Welcome back, everybody. We are back from break and uh, we are going to figure this out. Okay, before we go anywhere, we're going to come back down. Is it here? Here. And we are going to put this, oh, not that, back. Now we're going to save and see if the specter doesn't show back up again. Wherever my legs carry me. Shall we move? We shall move. Let's have some fun. Notice, no specter. I hope you appreciate this. Standing stone. Just don't blame me. Damn it. I'm blaming you, Wolf. You suck. Not ending just Patricium Turino Patricium Turino Patricium Turino Patricium Turino. All right, there we go. The somber scarred warrior guards the gates of the settlement almost chokes when he sees you. Stop, stop, you monster. You've some nerve just showing up outside the walls of winter sun like this. Why are you glaring at me? Do you think you can avoid the wrath of the Lady of the Sun? What did you call me, commoner? I'd like uh, you to say that one more time. My lady, allow me to be your knight and, figure and fight for your honor. I won't allow anyone to dishonor you with this slur mangy monster. Unless my ears deceive me, Count, he did not mention the word mangy at all. <laughs> This is how guests are welcome in Winter Sun now? I remember you used to be famed as the most hospitable clan. People used to say visitors to Winter Sun never leave empty handed. What happened? There may be a war going on, but the spirits won't praise you for turning feral on folk. I know nothing of this place. You're awfully inquisitive for demons, aren't you? You must have only just crawled out of your abyss since you don't know what's what. Is that it? Well, know this. You're at the walls of Winter Sun, the final bastion of the defenders of Sarkoris. The mighty Marhavek rules here, the greatest of all warriors ever to be born in this land. And we are protected by the Lady of the Sun, a sorceress whose powers are so great that she could incinerate an army of your kind on the spot. I'm the Knight Commander of the Crusaders. I have just come from Dresden and I want to talk to whoever's in charge here. You're a fool, demon, or else you take us for fools. Dresden fell, everyone knows that was captured by an army of your uh, repulsive kin, and we're not going to let the same thing happen to us. Stop, children of Winter Sun. A voice soft and stirring is coming from a statue adorning the gates. Stop, do not raise your weapons. Let them pass. This creature is my guest. I shall keep an eye on him. None can harm the children of Winter Sun without my domain. What? Let this monster into our village? 
When we're the last thing standing against the demons now that Dresden's fallen? You heard the Lady of the Sun, Dimwit, let him pass. What's this demon going to do to us anyway? The Lady of the Sun has protected us all these years, and no abomination from the Abyss has ever captured Winter Sun. And it's not going to happen today either. Uh, guards to me, both guards throw a final steely look at you before leaving their post. Uh, that didn't sound pleasant. Uh, can I... Um, no, actually, we we have all of our spells. We didn't have to find the fight the witch this time. Forwards? Uh, no, backwards. Backwards. Oh yeah, big roars and all that stuff. And but the kids are just here playing. Trail me. We're just looting. They'll have nothing to eat, but hey. No crowding here, good neighbors, no crowding. A babu demon holding a pretty flower basket flashes a predatory grin. Poor Dar is not himself. He lost his family in Dresden, and he's been drowning his grief in wine for a few days. He always picks fights when he's drunk, and you know what a stonemason's fists are like. What the hell is going on here? He killed the boy. Make way, neighbor. We'll put him in a collar to sleep it off. This is going to turn ugly. We need to get the people back to their houses while we deal with the Baylor. The Babu turns around and hisses at the culprit, a huge Baylor who, at whose feet a young barbarian is lying covered in blood. I'm so tired of you, neighbor Dar. Go home and stop ruining the fun for the rest of us. <laughs> what is he doing hitting the poor flower girl? Wow. A tall warrior with dark hair and gray eyes stands between the humans and the roaring Balar. He looks the fiend right in the eye. Are you forgetting where you are? These lands are protected by the Lady of the Sun. Behave, or I, Marhavek Grunhold, will throw you out of my town. Balar's laughter is booming. You really think your beloved beauty can do anything to me? If I wanted to, I could break her neck and yours and your little worms and the necks of every puny little human in the district. And then I'll pay a visit to the castle in the clouds and hear out every sunny little follower. I'm sick of this game anyways. I'm leaving for now. Go about your business now. There's nothing to gop at. Ah, guest of my lady. I am the chief of the Winter Sun clan. You can take a look around if you wish, but you must visit me in the clan hall. It would be rude of you not to pay a proper visit to the master while you're in his house. Demons are walking around your town like it's a, a home away from home. In that case, shouldn't thanks be in order, demon? If not for the kindness of the lady, you would have been killed on the spot. I'm here to find out who killed my crusaders. Their bodies are lying at your shrine by the lake. The lady's shrine is sacred to all the children of Winter Sun. If someone has desecrated it with murder, they will be punished. You are changing the subject. I'm not used to talking in the middle of the town square. Come to my hall, honored guest. We can speak there. Why shouldn't I just beat the answers out of you here and now? The laws of hospitality. The same laws that stop me from tearing you to pieces in this very place. We will have our talk in my hall, honored guest. Alright, this place is weird. Let's just come up here and figure out what the hell's going on. A woman with a wealth of long, dark hair stands by the statue, carefully touching the wood. Her long fingers slide along the smooth surface, searching for cracks and scratches. As you approach, the woman startles, tosses her head back, and you see her eye sockets are empty, 
and scabbed over like old scars. Who's there? A stranger? I don't recognize your footsteps. Uh, I'm the Knight Commander of the Crusaders. I've come from Dretno. Um, I'm a guest of the Lady of the Sun. She invited me to visit Winter Sun. The mention of the Lady, the blind woman expresses, uh, expression relaxes. She shrugs her shoulders and dryly responds, A guest of the Lady of the Sun is a most desirable guest in Winter Sun. What do you want from me? Who are you? My name is Gesmerha. I'm the senior wood shaper in Winter Sun. A wood carver or sculptor, as you would call it. My level of skill is not bestowed on everyone. We wood shapers do not consider wood to just be material. We do not make something of it. We give the wood a new birth. We reveal its beauty in a new form. I come from an ancient line of craftsmen and women, and I swear that I have done everything to avoid bringing shame to my ancestors' memory. I strove to preserve beauty even in the midst of chaos, which is what the demons had turned Sarkoris into, aided by the traitor Arilu. By but one day my gift failed me. At the request of Mahavak, our, clown ch our clan chief, clown chief, yeah, nice, I was tasked with carving a statue of the Lady of the Sun. But no matter how hard I tried, instead of a beautiful elf, my chisel again and again revealed a hideous monster in the wood. Marhavak th uh, flew into a rage when he saw my work. He personally cut out my eyes as punishment, uh, and journeymen were given the task of finishing the statue. The clan did not turn its back on me, of course. The children of Winter Sun do not drive out their own, even, though, even those who have transgressed before the entire community. They allow me to do simple carvings and to take care of the statues. That is how I've lived since that day. Damn. Is the stomach turning savage? What, uh, was, what was done to you? But what did you expect? You disrespected a lady who was our, society, our social better. Many noblemen in Mendev would raise their sword to you for insulting their lady in such a fashion. That Marhavak of yours, he's a nasty piece of work, isn't he? Rubbing an artist of her sight. That's not just brutal, it's foul. Some murders are less depraved than that. Tell me about the settlement. This place was once the capital of the Winter Sun clan. Yes, the capital. In the glory days of old Sarkoris, the clan controlled vast swaths of land with several settlements and many farmlands. But when that accursed Arilu opened the world wound, the clan began to wither, like a sapling that's been chopped at the roots. Then the world wound opened even wider and the blight reached these lands. The children of Winter Sun either died defending their homes or left in search of a better life elsewhere. In the end, all that was left was this one settlement. Only the toughest, most stubborn people were left, the ones who were prepared to survive and defend their land to their last breath. But even they would have perished if not for the Lady of the Sun. Since she came here, demons haven't dared to attack Winter Sun. Life is hard here, the soil is weak, and the animals to hunt few and far between, but it is our home. If we leave our homes and we stop singing our songs, the memory of Sir Chorus will die too. Tell me about the lady. Marabak, the leader of the Wintersun clan, met her on a hunt many years ago when he was a young man. People say it was love at first sight and the Lady of the Sun left her magical castle in the clouds to live with Marhavak in a humble hut. The Lady of the Sun is a powerful sorceress. She gave Marhavak his hunting dragon and has protected Wintersun against the demons all these years. Ever since she came here, not a single demon has attacked this place. Hmm. I'm not buying that story. Magic users were feared in Sarkoris in the old days, and for good reason. If you remember that cursed witch who brought all these calamities down on us, but we trusted the Lady of the Sun and accepted her as our protector, although it's not been an easy decision. There's something strange going on in Winter Sun. Your fellow vig villagers call me a monster, while they themselves... Converse with demons like it's nothing. Demons within these walls? <clears throat> That's not possible. The Lady of the Sun promised to protect us. Besides, the settlement has old rune stones that start to flicker when demons approach. Even if the monsters had tricked us somehow by disguising themselves, the stones would have warned us about the danger, and my people wouldn't be caught dead chatting to our sworn enemies. I've been looking for missing crusaders and found their bodies at the shrine at the Lady of the Sun. Bodies at the shrine? That is very strange. The children of Winter Sun are no enemies of the Crusaders, and no one would dare sully the Lady of the Sun's shrine with the blood of allies. Maravak always keeps the shrine adorned with flowers for the Lady, along with his trophies, slain demons. Demons? You're saying that 
he leaves dead demons. What madness is this? But at least we know who's responsible for the bodies at the shrine. Um, how's our diplomacy? Fantastic. Uh, help me get to the bottom of what's going on in Winter Sun. The future of your clan might depend on my actions. The woman sighs heavily, clenching and unclenching her fists. Taking a huge risk talking to you, stranger. Marabak's anger is terrifying to behold, but I simply need to know what's happening to my clan. I have to risk it. Listen, stranger, there's something odd happening in Winter Sun. It's true. The Lady of the Sun promised us protection, and demons truly have never attacked the settlement. But there are visitors that come here from the outside. They come often, and they look like crusaders, merchants from Mendev, scholars from Absalom, or kin of the Lady from her castle in the clouds. Some of them even live here long term, and every single one of them acts strangely. They talk to us like they're some great joke, and we're not in on it. And sometimes there are rougher types who do something wild. I've tried broaching the topic with people I trust, but they either don't believe me or they're afraid to speak openly. Marabak does not permit any doubts about him or the Lady of the Sun or her guests, and there's something else. Every few years, someone in the village goes mad. It's usually one of our guards or hunters who go out on forays to kill demons. They either start weeping, begging for forgiveness, or they attack their neighbors. The clan doesn't turn its back on its children. That's why these mad people are only put outside the settlement's walls. But everyone now believes they're beyond helping. They are mad and angry at the entire world. A secret horror gnaws at the soul of Winter Sun. But I can't see it or find out what it is, and I don't know how to help you solve it, friend. All I can give you is this piece of advice. Check our rune stones. They should warn us <clears throat> about demons in the vicinity. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if they're not doing that, then there is some evil at work here. If you want answers quickly, go straight to Maravak. He's the only person who's been to the castle on the clouds, and he even had a key to it hidden somewhere. He knows more than anyone else, but watch yourself. Maravak is a mighty warrior, quick to anger and ruthless, and the limits of the Lady of the Sun's powers are entirely unknown. All right. Unsounded alarm. Examine the runestone. Loot the barrel. Save it. Check it. Maybe I did something wrong here. You did do something wrong. And action. The rune stone is a fake. It has no power to detect demons. Oh, snap. This way. I hope you appreciate this. Pretty good, aren't I? Wind uproots a single tree, but dies down in a thicket. Stand shoulder to shoulder with your clansmen like trees in a forest. Pick the box. What is that? Gilded horn. All right. Whatever you say. Oh, here's another runestone. Save. I did it. It this runestone is a fake. It has no power to detect demons. Wow. The inspection is enough to raise suspicion that the runestone is a fake. It's clear that something is wrong with the stones. There must be other clues or hints of what's going on. Okay, so we'll keep looking. Oh, 
This is my kind of work. Rely on your own strength, on your cunning, on the true arrow, on your sharp blade, on the aid of the spirits, on the vows of priests, but never rely on divination. And we can't loot that right now. Or maybe we can't. Might be trapped. Might be treasure. This runestone was smashed and the piece is carefully hidden. Oh. Reeking Heart of Arcane. Whenever this plus three rapier is affected by any magical effect that gives it an enhancement bonus, this bonus is increased by plus one. Ooh, that is perfect for Camellia. All right, we are on the edge of the map there. Yeah, we are. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? All right, nothing there. This way. This rune stays a fake. All right, so we've already covered this area. Let's head back down this way. Wherever my legs carry me. like an entire village of demons isn't it Forwards. No, no. And some of them just aren't showing themselves is that what the deal is Can't check out the statues, okay? Wait for me there, I wonder. Let's come up here. Oh. Moonstone was smashed and pieces carefully hidden. Alright. 